Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. May God forbid that. Why would you say something like that? I did, not, I did not say anything bad. Though. It's just a question that I asked you. Let's go. Uh, what what, you what if he dies? Anyway, that's true. After all, many predicted more deaths. Okay. After the second and the third. Yes, and it kept happening as predicted. To the extent that people no longer come out in their numbers to mourn with her. Oh. Okay, just look at it today. It was just me and you that dug that whole grave. And I'm sure the grave was not even up to five feet. And covering the grave was almost impossible. We did not even cover the grave very well because we exhausted our energy. Eh? See, eh? Chike should better not die. Chike he should not better die. not die. Chike is not dying. Because as you are looking at me now, I will not go back to that house. Not even to go and sympathize with them. Talk less of carrying this, my beautiful digger. And show it to go and dig okay, grave. don't have a point. But wait, just like you said earlier, what if Chike joins his brothers? I mean, what if he dies? See, the dead should bury their dead. Me, I'm going. Are you not coming? <laughs> <laughs> about right now is how to continue living. No. Good for 
be that I will be alive to bury my husband and all my children. Mother, it won't be a strange thing if it happens that way. You virtually buried your husband and six children, and it's just me remaining. Only me. Chike. I will not bury you, my child. God forbid. I pray so. But I doubt. <laughs> Listen, Mother, you just have to stop crying. Go inside and sleep. It's getting late already. How can I sleep? Stop. You've cried enough. Oh, no. Oh, the more has happened to you, my son. No. is falling on us. I don't like the way you are seated here all alone thinking that you didn't even notice when I entered the compound. Who else will I be seated here with? I have lost my six children, including my husband. You are the only one remaining. Who will I sit here with? Mother, please. Stop thinking. <sighs> so you don't develop some health complications. Please. Is it not better? Let the complications come so I can die. Who else will be comfortable and relaxed when she has nailed six people in caskets in one year? I've lost Ibeque, my husband. Chidera, Ifani, Emeka, Chinoso, Amechi and Chukudi. What else am I living for? Who did I offend? Tell me. Mother, what am I living for? Mother, please stop crying. Stop crying, okay? It's obvious that we will all die in no distance time. Mm -hmm. But please, you don't have to kill yourself with all these thinkings. So you don't develop some health issues. You know we don't have money. So if you get any disease now, how do we start carrying you from one hospital to the other? I will die at rest. I will die at rest. It's better. 
Mother, the only life we have right now is death. So stop all this thinking, please. Stop. My child, no. Look at me. Promise me you will live for me. Mother, I wish I can. You will. I wish. You will, my child. Nothing must happen to you. You will not die. I'm tired. I am tired. Tired of everything. I'm tired. Mother, stop. I'm tired of this life. Stop. What am I living for again? Tired of everything. to mother what are you doing seated here all alone N nothing I'm just have, I'm just having some quiet time reflecting on my life and how to better my life and to be the son you've always prayed for don't even try to ignite the joy in me because it will not work we all know what is ahead of us death Death is hovering around this vicinity. And when eight people couldn't fight the spirit of death, what can the both of us do? Only God can say something and it will come to pass. He can still change situations. He can still turn things around. Look at you. A few minutes ago, you were telling me, Mother, stop crying. Mother, stop doing this. Mother, stop doing that. Here you are, crying your eyes out. Instead of you sitting here crying, think of the next thing to do. Wipe your tears. I'm off to church. supposed to be doing at this point in my life if not thinking. Chike, thinking is not the best solution to this. You know it. To get the best solution you have to think. I mean, there is no way you can get a good solution without thinking. Do you have to overthink or kill yourself before your time? Did you say time? Yes. <laughs> Uguchuku, my time is already here. I can see it. I can feel it. It is visible to the blind and audible to the deaf. Chike, can you stop? Can you stop sounding like this for God's sake? Stop sounding like this. There is always an end to every problem. Stop sounding this way. You, you just have to focus on your mom. You're all she has got. Have to focus on her before she dies too, please. 
Anyway, I just I just came to check up on you and know how you people are doing. So what what about your mom? Where is she? And I'll how is she doing? I'll be lying to you if I say she's fine. But she should be in the church now. Anyway, I just I just came to check up on you. Just came to see you. Alright. Thank you, Gochuku. I really appreciate you. I mean, I don't even know how best to appreciate you and Okudele for standing by me. I don't know how to appreciate the both of you for helping me bury my younger brother. Thank you, Gochuku. Please do help me and extend my regards to Okudele as well. I will. I know you can't stand, okay? All right, Gochuku, let me help. Okay. What is it? Why are you people running like this? Chiki, your mother just collapsed. What? Yes. We found her by the roadside and people say she slumped on her way coming back from the church. Chiki, the worst is that nobody accepts to go close to her cops. My mother? My mother? Chiki, Chiki, Ah, Chiki. For you, mother. To look for me? Yes, I was scared something might have happened to you when you were coming back from church. Chiki, I am fine. Let's go inside. I hope you've had something to eat. Excited. Why are you happy? Yes, I'm excited. And I have every reason to be happy. I cannot be alive to bury all my children. It is expected of you to bury me and not for me to bury you. And Chike, thank you for that dream. You know, they say afternoon dreams always come to reality. Thank you. Mother, you won't die and that shouldn't excite you. I expected you to be unhappy. I can never be unhappy, okay? I have chosen to be happy. If I'm happy, I will die. If I'm unhappy, I will still die. Thank you so much. You know, you said you want me to die honorably, and that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> hmm. You're beginning to act strange, mother. Sit up and let's face reality. The only reality here is death. And I am ready to face it. Yes. I am ready to face death. Let it come. I will embrace it. I will die honorably, happily, feeling so excited. <laughs> looks familiar. Are you from this town? Um, no. I'm the last child of um, Chief Edochie. My name is Mike. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Your father is very influential and prominent. You see, some of us that have our eyes glued to good things, we know you even when you don't come around. <laughs> 
you got me speechless. You know, um, is it is it possible I talk to this your pretty friend? My friend? Yes. Of course. Let me call her for you. Lucky girl, he wants to talk to you. Amari, you know I don't have what to give her what he might be needing from me. Just go and hear him out stop, first. Stop, stop, let's go, let's go. Go and go. Go and hear him out first. She insists. I insist. Go, 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 go. My friend said you want to talk to me. Yes. I... Your beauty got me glued. You know, I, I, I wouldn't forgive myself if... if I don't say one or two things with you. Yes. But you've been saying one or two things here since. Have a nice day. Yes, I can see you don't have what to say. Hi. But... but... He doesn't have anything to say. Let's go. What did he say? Tell me. Never mind. Let's go. Um, sorry. Uh, we have to leave now. Oh, it's okay. Thank you very much. It's fine. My name is Amara. Okay. Um, I'm from this village. Okay. Mazi Odenibo's daughter. Okay. First daughter. It's all right. All right. All right. Thank you very, very Bye. much. Bye. Huh? It has dawned to me that one of us will go soon. Chike, why did you say that? You see, <laughs> I've seen it. Each time death is to come, it appears to me in my dream. But funny enough, it's not the person that died in the dream that ends up dying. Just yesterday, I dreamt of where my mother slumped. And you know it's just the two of us remaining. So it's obvious that I'm the next to go. Chike, I suggest we should go and see Pastor Do All. He might have a revelation about this and probably put an end to it. I don't believe in pastors anymore. I mean, there is no kind of churches and ministries that we've not been to. Funny enough, they will always have something to say and the dead thing keeps reoccurring. Chike, why are you sounding like this? God can still do something about your family's case. Stop sounding this way. No. It's too late now. It is certain and I am waiting for death. Chike, I know it's believably obvious to you, but there's nothing God cannot do. Stop sounding this way. If God is up there when my father died and he did nothing. Six weeks later, our first son died and nothing happened. A month and a week after, our second son died and God did nothing. Please, Ugo, you could just keep God out of this. I mean, this death keeps occurring until a few days ago when I buried our last son. Please, keep God out of this. It is obvious that I will die and I'm waiting for death. But I still believe it's only God that can solve it. I'm not going to die, that's one thing I believe. So stop sounding this way, please. It's not even long we met and you're already here. What's the problem? Just to tell you what your friend is doing in my head. I can see my friend is causing hold up in your head. Oh my God. Not just hold up. She's causing serious traffic in my head. And not just ordinary traffic, but I mean Lagos traffic. <laughs> I will not understand that one because I've not been to Lagos. Okay, and um, I want to tell you that I really want a woman that I will spend the rest of my life with. Hmm. 
So what happens to all the city girls and the girls in your village? <sighs> okay. I don't want to marry from my village. Hmm? City girls, I am sick and tired of them. Because then there is no manner of social lifestyle that is not embedded in them. <laughs> yes, what I want is a decent woman that I will spend the rest of my life with. That's all I want. <laughs> Men and their unending search for good things. And what makes you believe that the breed of girls in this present day village are good girls and well cultured? What makes you believe that? <laughs> Mike, let me tell you something you don't know. In this present day village, we do virtually everything that city girls are doing. We own good phones. We are on social media. We do TikTok. Okay, now let me shock you. 75% of the girls in this village, they are after one or two. After one or two? What do you mean by one or two? I know you will not understand. What I mean is that some girls in, the, in this village, they have one or two kids in their parents' house. Oh, you're talking of single mothers. Come on. That is just the modernized name to make it look normal. But it's not normal for a girl to just give birth to her father's house. Okay. It's not normal. So tell me, is your friend one or two? <laughs> My friend Adako will not try it. If she tries it, her father will skin her alive. Okay. Okay. Um, now, can you please help me? Help me and talk to your friend. I, I really like that girl. Hmm. Please. It's not a problem. I will help you. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. All right. Okay. Bye. All right. Take care. Eh? Take care. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. How are you? I'm fine. Mm. You're here to see your friend. Yes. I know. <laughs> um, where is Adako? Is she not around? You know, you people just for a long time. <laughs> That's why I start just and just and just and please, oh. <laughs> I hope people are not stepping out of this place until she's done with my food. No, we're not going anywhere. Don't take her out, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, not the way sir. it is with you people. But it's okay. She's inside. Okay, yeah. sir. Let me see a friend. Sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see my friend. Okay. Ada. Yeah. Amara. Amara. <laughs> so you're still hovering like evil spirits. Instead of you to go home and cook for your parents. Huh? Ada, you're correct. I'm supposed to be at home cooking for my parents. But it's my younger sister's turn to cook today. So I have all the time in the world to hover around, just like Hi. you said. Hi. We are those that have sisters, so. Mm -hmm. Me. It's me that will fetch water, me that will fetch firewood, me, every job in this house is me. <laughs> you're, on. You're, you're, you're lucky, you're lucky. I'm right. happy at those who have city boys falling in love with them. City boys? <laughs> who are they? Mike, oh. Chief Edoche's son. He's in love with you. <laughs> Amara, you're talking as if you don't know boys. That gender will use and dump you. <laughs> I know all that. But Mike looks serious. He said once you accept to be his woman, that he will settle down with you. <laughs> Amara, who doesn't know that format? IGM. Ah, everybody knows it though. I'll go marry. I'll go marry you. That's the format. Those boys will suck all your honey. Before you know it, they will boom back to the city. Adako, <laughs> I know all that. Mike is here for good. You need to see the burning desire in his eyes. Mm. 
He said he is sick and tired of the city girls, and that is why he's here to look for a well-groomed girl to marry. Come on. Amar, where, where, where and when is he telling you all these things? It's not too long he left my side. <laughs> that boy. <laughs> you mean that boy traced you all the way from your house? <sighs> after we might have left him uh, along the road? That is to tell you how serious it is. Not the way. Amara, forget those city boys. Forget them. I know them. They are bad. Imara on there. I don't care. Think about it. Think about it. My sister, I'm not thinking about anything. City boys, I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like them. I'm just telling you. <laughs> My dear. Ibeque's family is giving me sleepless night. Look at Azuka, his wife. She is going down every day. Hmm. The situation is disturbing me too. Look at what she does these days. Thinking and waiting when death will come and take her. Hi! Oh God, have mercy. So this is how let Ibe Hue's lineage is going to be wiped off if Azoka, his wife, and the only surviving son dies. Hi, my dear sister. It is obvious they will die in no distance time. Huh. But I think what they should be thinking of right now is how to get Chiki a wife. And let Chike get his wife pregnant before his own time is up. Oh. Hey, you are right. It's a good idea. And that is the only way to retain their lineage. You know that. It means the, the only option now is for us to go to her house and share this idea with her. Yes. But... My husband will scheme me alive if he gets to hear that I step my foot into that compound. Hello! Hey! My dear, I'm equally scared, but we will look for a way to convert this idea to her. I thank you both for the beautiful ideas you've been sharing with me. You know, people don't want to associate with us anymore. And um, I don't blame anybody. Asoka, we all know that. Just go and look anywhere you can get a girl. Pay her bright price. She will become his legal wife. Even if Chike dies without making her pregnant. She can live with other men and make babies for him. Um, beautiful idea and I appreciate it. What about your daughter? She can become Chike's wife. My daughter? Yes. Why are you talking as if you don't know me again? I have only one daughter and she is married. What about you? You have three daughters. You can give my son one of your daughters. Me? Yes, you. Oh, as you can listen to yourself. So you want me to be involved in this death festival that is going on in your family? Aaron, go out there, look for some girls, eh, and do that. Hmm? Please. Because eh, we have asked you to do it. Do what we have asked you to do if you don't want your husband's lineage closed. I think you should be going on. Yes, we will. And um, Azuka, that we are here to share the idea with you doesn't mean that you should involve us. I thought you were going to talk to her. Talk to her. Magenizi, go on again. You will get a saber for people. Oh, 
My son. What is it, mother? You know the world has deserted us. They now see us as people carrying one incurable virus. And you know your father's lineage will soon end. I, I, I want you to look for a girl from anywhere. Get married to her. Get her pregnant so that when you're no more, at least there will still be somebody in this family. Where did you get that idea from? I mean, what is the need of bringing in a girl into this death-infested family? And how are you even sure that she will take in before I die? Just try. Give it a try, my son. Papa, Just try. I am very sure that no girl in this community will want to become a widow immediately after marriage. And I am also sure that no family that knows our family history will accept to give their daughter to a family that is known for their reoccurring deaths. So what is the need? Just try. There's no harm in trial. See, this is a mother's death wish. Death wish? Yes. Please don't say no. Amara. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Mike. How are you? I'm fine. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. Good afternoon. I was actually driving down to your place. I just wanted to see you. I know it's because of my friend Adako. Um, yes. No, no, no. Wait. I want to ask you. What is my position in this? Good afternoon. Good Sister Marty, good afternoon. Good afternoon, good Kechi. Afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Is your mother around? Yes, yeah, she's at home. Okay. Take care. Okay, bye bye. I want to ask you. Okay. Am I a kind of middle man between the both of you or an agent trying to make something work out for you? Because um, I don't understand. You are. An angel sent by God to help me actualize my aim of coming to this village. Mike, no. I am only seeing myself as an agent, trying to smoothen something for you. <laughs> and please don't forget my 10%. You don't have a problem. See, what will happen is this. Once we actualize our aim, just name your prize. Say it. Whatever you want, I will give it to you. Are you serious about this? <laughs> I should name any price. Just name your price. Hey. But first of all, let us actualize this first. In that case, you don't have a problem. Thank you. Come around my house in the next two hours. She'll be around. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> I'll be there. All right. Thank you very much. Take care. <laughs> bye. All right. Bye. Honestly, I am totally confused about the whole thing. I mean, how can a man who is bound to die go out there looking for a woman he will make a widow after a short time? Chiki, you're not bound to die. Okay? And besides, I think your mother is right. She only wants your father's lineage to continue. And that's not a bad idea. 
why not just do her wish? There's nothing wrong with it. Just think about it, it's very important. I'm tired of this house. Hmm. I'm tired of this house. Why? My father is always on my neck. If it is not this one, it is that one. If it is not this problem, it's that problem. Adako, hmm. seriously, I cannot wait for a suitor to come my way. Well, there are many suitors everywhere. Every man is a possible suitor. But what you need in life is a man that you're going to spend all the rest of your life with happily. See, marriage is not all this girlfriend and boyfriend you can jump in and jump out. It's a union that stands forever. Yes. Adako, mm -hmm. are you in a way advising me or what? <laughs> yes. I am advising you because Otoanya get denied. You want to go and marry. You want to go and make a mistake. Yes. So you don't have I... to rush in marriage. Yes. Because love conquers all. So because I told you that I'm tired of my father's house, now you have this. <laughs> yes. I'm advising you because don't go and be in a hurry and marry someone you don't want to marry. Love conquers all. That's the only thing I'm telling you. Hello, pretty damsels. Hello, Mr. Mike Dochi. Hi. Hello. For the very first time in the history, I'm seeing love descending from city to village. Um, Adako, this is Mike Dochi. Mr. Mike Meduce. Yes. You smell nice. Thank you. Yeah, and you're handsome too. Thank you. Just be honest. What do you want from me? Adako. Right from the very first moment I set my eyes on you. I have, I have this deep feeling for you. Wow. What a lovely feeling, I must say. But I need you to give me some time to think about it. Adako, please. I, I, I don't actually have this time. You know, I, I, I just want us to, to do this as soon as possible. Yeah, Please. I understand you, but you know, things of the heart, you don't have to rush it. Okay, and I must say, you were kind and a gentle man. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, why don't you allow me to take you home? Don't worry, my. My friend will see me off. Okay. All right, let me, let me go. Okay. All right, take okay. care. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right, take care.
Is it me you're talking to? Yes. Just hear him out first. What does this one have to say? Just hear him out now. <laughs> hear him out first. What is it? No. I, I just want to tell you that I like you. You what? Are you mad? Are you stupid? Is anything wrong with your head? How dare you say such a thing to me? <laughs> An almost dead man like you. Hey, Amara, I have suffered in this village. Monkey will talk to me. Gorilla will talk to me. An almost dead man will talk to me. Amara, can you stop? Stop what? Ada could leave me. No, what has he done to deserve all these rotten words from you? Ada I have not said anything rotten yet. Rather, I am stating the obvious. Look at an almost dead man talking to me. Look, let me tell you something. If you are looking for someone to die with, go back to the kingdom of death or go to the kingdom of death and tell them that you did not see me. Rubbish. That was too harsh. That was too harsh. Adaku, leave me. What does a dead man, an almost dead man, what does he have to offer? Please, um, I'm sorry. I think she's not normal. Yes, she's having mood swing. Yeah, mood then and that swing at well, times. Huh? Thank you. Adaku, please. Let's, let's leave. Sorry, please. Please. Can you stop? Let's leave. Let's go, Mara. That was bad. That was bad. Who got no one reality? What reality? What reality? They got no one reality? What reality? Who got no one reality? What reality? What reality? Who got no one reality? What reality? What was it called? What's the idea? Why is your face like this? You're not happy. Where are you coming from? Nothing, Papa. I'm fine. It's just that I'm tired. You're tired? You don't look happy. Now listen, I don't want anything, anything, to ever make my only child unhappy. Please, I don't ever want you to be happy. for any compound of an almost dead man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I know my friend has wronged you and that is why I'm here to ask for, for, um, for forgiveness. She stated the obvious. It was all my fault. I shouldn't have talked to her. Well, you did no wrong in talking to her. Okay? I... I'm just here to apologize on her behalf. You, you, we are truly sorry. You owe me no apologies. I was hurt not because of what she said, but because all she said are true. 
You're not a dead man and you will never be. You still have life inside you. Not until you die. You're not dead. So don't let those ill words get to you. Okay? Good morning, sir. Good morning, my daughter. How are you? Hi, sir. Slept well. Yes, sir. Um, Papa, I want to quickly go and see my friend. I will be back very soon. To see your friend this early? Yes, Papa. It must be very important. Very, very important. And he, she's waiting for me. Okay. We'll come back quick, huh? Come back. Thank you, Papa. Please do. This is the second time you're stepping your legs into this compound. First was to apologize for what you never did. Hope you are not here to retrieve those apologies and make mockery of me. No, Chiki. May heaven strike me dead the day I will utter ill words at you. You're a very kind person, Adako. And I pray I meet people like you when I join into the great beyond. Chike, never you make such despicable comments again. Please. Come on, stop pretending, Adako. Stop pretending as if you don't know what is ahead of me. I am awaiting death. Everyone is awaiting death, including me. We all die one day. I know we will, but ours is quite gruesome. And we are dying in intervals, and my time is ticking. Everybody's time is ticking. Everybody's time is ticking. My own time is ticking too. I mean, some people time starts ticking when they were born. Others die even in their mother's womb. <sighs> Chiki, I've, I've come to share you up. And to remind you that you have reasons to be happy again. Okay? Good morning, Ma. Uh, ma my father sent me that. <laughs> my father said I should send his regards. Your father away that you're here. Yes, I'm off to check. Go ahead. I got her angry since yesterday, so I have not seen her. Are you sure she's okay? I believe she's fine. Um, Maybe she was just pissed off. Can you please take me to their place? You want to visit? Yes, please. Okay. Just get into the car, let's All go. Right. All you've said are true. But do you know the feeling of knowing that you will die within a short period of time? And people from the same community with you isolate and desert you because of the death streaks that keeps occurring around you. Do you? I don't. The bottom line here is knowing that we all are waiting to die. Yes, for he's appointed unto a man to die. And after that comes judgment. It is appointed unto a man to die and not for my entire family to die. You see, I wonder who will dig my grave and bury me when I'm finally gone because my mother and Ugochuku alone cannot do it. Stop. Chike, stop. Stop saying it. That's why I'm here. Okay? And I am not here to mourn or sympathize with you. I am only here to show you that you are still loved. 
If no one else loves you, I love you. Yes. You do? Yes. I do. And that is why I'm here. To always make you happy. Some good looking man, mm. uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. his name is Mike, Chief Educe's son. Mike, mm. which of the Duches? Chief Educe from the Neverland Village, sir. I know, I know, I know them, and I know it's quite a large family. They have Mike, Peter, yes, yes. John, and Mike. Oh, Mike Educe, yes, sir. Ah, my friend, very nice man. Oh. Sorry we lost him. Very intelligent man, full of wisdom. If you listen to your father, then. Ah! Oh, one friend I will forever miss. But it's all well. You're good. Welcome to my house. Mm, Papa, he is here to see Adako. Adako? Adako, hey. Adako is not home. She went out, she said she was going to see her friend. And I know you are the only friend she has. So, mm. you didn't see her? She didn't come to my house. Uh, uh, we have to go uh, since oh, no, she's no, not no. around. No, just sit down. Let me entertain. She'll soon be back. Um, um, no, Papa. <laughs> we have to go. Maybe we must have uh, missed her when coming here. Mm. Yes. Good. Should have loved to see you. Mm. Yes. You don't want me to offer you cola? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> tell, me, tell me something, tell me something. <laughs> Papa, it's not what you're thinking. Yeah, thinking. So, <laughs> so let's go, sir. Okay, no Thank you very much. Thank sir. you, Papa. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> see your friend Amara and the young man that came looking for you. Young man that came mm. looking for me. Young man, mm. did he tell you his name? Yes, I said his name is Mike. A handsome young man, looking good. He came here? Yeah, he came with your friend when you went out. I told him you were not home. But I said they will come back. Okay, maybe we'll follow the different roads because I didn't see them when I was coming back. I guess so, but they'll come back. I'm going for the Council of Elders meeting. Okay, Papa. I'm at back. I left the key in the usual oh. place. Huh? Okay, Papa. Make sure. I'll go. <laughs> Make sure. He said it's all for her now. I'll be great. Papa, you I'm coming. <laughs>
Come in, madam. Come in with your Bible. This place only accepts people who are pure in the heart. No evil is carried out here. And may the gods strike me any day I think of such. Come in with your Bible. Banyam Jeloa Banyam Mananyan Jahunde Mo Banyam Mo I can see your heart bleeding with black blood. Odi Afo Nankwa You have seven sons, madam But I'm only seeing one where are the others? They are all dead. Abundin Kokoroyo. Okay. Ori. Apo. Nanko. I can see a black linen covered on your son's face. Ah. But there is no clear explanation to this. I can also see a tree standing. I can see a tree standing. Go, madam. The words of the spirit is not the words of men. Go. Go. of your business. I was naturally coming to your house to ask him why you had to bring that guy to my house. Why? <laughs> so is it not a crime that this handsome young guy is dying and craving to have a so? woman? And so? Do you have to bring him to my house? Do you have to bring him to my house? Why are you pushing him to me? Why are you pushing me to him? How well do you even know this guy, Amara? Do you know him very well? Or is it because he is rich, wealthy and handsome? Is that overall yastic for marriage? You think so? See, Amara, let this thing not repeat itself again. I'm warning you for the last time. Oh. I'm warning you. Oh. Adako, why are you being unnecessarily rude to me? Because you're unnecessarily rude to Chike when he tried talking to you yesterday. But don't go and make peace with him. <laughs> make peace with Chike. Apologize to Chike. Never over my dead body will I have anything to do with that generation of death. Okay. 
um, am I fine? But I won't stand here and watch you insult Chike, who doesn't do you anything. And he still has the state of grace of God to change his storyline. Big one. <laughs> so it's because of Chike. All this is because of Chike. Chike, you're eating. Yes, mother. Death is a necessary end. And it's important that I eat. So I won't be feeling hungry in the land of the death when I die. I went to see Anya in Amuk on my way back from church. Who is Anya? He's the youngest son of the great Dibia. He took after his father. He, he told me he's seen a dark linen covering your face. A dark linen? Yes. What does that mean? I don't even know. He didn't really give any explanation. He also said uh, he's seen a tree standing. I don't even know what all that means. But darkness means death. But he should have had a better explanation to it. Anyway, mother, you have to eat. Let me go and get you food so you can eat. Finish your food. Let me drop my Bible. when you told me that you are going to see your friend. Where did you go? I'm asking you a question. Where did you go? Oh, you don't want to talk. Listen, come and draw your ear. Draw your ear. Hold your ear. Draw it well. Let it never be heard, seen, or said by anybody that you went into Let Mazi Bequest compound for any reason, any reason at all. Do you want to bring an unknown cause upon me? Eh? If you try it, I will hate you. I won't mind that you're my only child. I will hate you. Have you not heard about the compound? About the family? How they die? You want me to die? You want me to die? Is that what you're planning? I will hate you. Try it. I will hate you. Baby. 
are you going to meet your friend? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you going to see your friend? No. I'm going on an errand for my mother. What happened? I saw Adako walking down the road gently, as if she was lost in thought. Is everything okay with her? I wouldn't know because we are having a little issue because of you and one other boy she said I was rude to. So I don't know. It seems she doesn't like you. She's angry with me because she feels I'm pushing it too hard. Please, I know you will conquer her heart if you really want to get her. But please, don't get me involved. Best of luck. See you some other time. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's okay. Good afternoon. Chike! Chike! Yes, mother. Someone is here to see you. What is it that saddens your heart? Hey, if truly beautiful faces needs no painting, then good hearts needs not to be unhappy. And being unhappy is a state that doesn't last forever. But seeing you happy gladdens my heart, Chiki. Okay, come with me. What is it that makes you unhappy? I'm not here to share my worries. But I just want to ask you a question. What is it? Chike, will you stand by me in times of trouble and rejection? You always there to, to make me smile. Even when the whole world is falling on me. Who are you? Why are you saying all this? Why are you talking as if you're not from this village? <laughs> Listen, the spirit of death hovers around this vicinity. And my existence here on earth is bent on time. Listen. A time will come when I will be no more. Chile, that doesn't answer my question. And don't think you can scare me away with that. Everybody is going to die. Please answer my question. Will you always be there for me? Please. Yes, I will. If I have life in abundance, I will. Thank you. To be on my way, thank you. Adaku.
daughter. I know you're not happy with me. You're not happy the way I spoke to you the other time. But you see, you're my only child. I have to sincerely tell you things the way they are. Please. I know you're a long, young, I know you're a young child still growing up. And I know maybe you've not bothered to find out, ask questions or try to know about late uh, Mazibuque's family compound and all that. The fact is that the family is under the sentence by the gods. They are prone to death, to die anytime. And you are my only child. I don't want that to happen to us. If you look, people are avoiding them. They don't have friends. People don't get close to them. People don't get associated. Because they don't want to get contaminated. So why should I allow you, my child? I don't want you to die. If you die, what will happen to me, your father? Think about it. If I die, what will happen to you, my daughter? Please, I don't want us to die. Avoid that family. Avoid associating with them. But there's nothing, nothing will happen to us. Nothing will happen to us. I know nothing will happen to us. But which one is better? To avoid something happening to us or to keep ourselves open for something to happen to us? Which one is better? Please, my daughter. I've told you that nothing will happen to us. Nothing will happen to us. <laughs> hey! I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the I've been knocking at the front door. I never knew you were here, sir. <laughs> my dear, I'm here relaxing, you know, enjoying my news. I love news a lot. <laughs> That's very nice. Um, sir, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is for you, sir. Yes. For me? Yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> this is now. Yes, sir. This is beautiful. Huh? For me? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. See, man. Premium snap. Yes, yes. Very wise boy. Thank you, sir. This is drink for the elders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that you, that you like it. Yeah, I love it a lot. I take it every morning. That's it good. makes my nerves to be strong. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see how fresh I look? I can see that, sir. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Please do come inside. Come inside. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Hey. I like you because you look gentle, handsome, and neat. Thank you very much, and sir. Such people. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Hey, so, thank you once again for the drink. You're welcome, <laughs> I sir. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, Is may I right? ask you, what exactly do you want from my daughter? I want to get married. So I'm searching for a woman I'll get married to. And Adako fits into what I want in a woman. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that I've tried talking to her, but she wouldn't listen to me. She wouldn't even allow me to talk to her. Even her friend Amara, I've tried talking to her, but she refused. Oh, it's all right. First of all, I must thank your courage 
for coming to my house to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage. Thank you, sir. That's a good one. What if after talking to her, she's my daughter, she listens to me, and she accepts and says, let it be tomorrow. What next? That makes it. It just makes it easy. I it will just become in-laws immediately. I, I will just inform my, my, my family. Then we'll, we'll start the marriage rights immediately. Mm. Yes. That's a good one. Thank you, sir. In that case, I'll say go and rest. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'll handle the rest. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Wow. Oh, thank you once again. <laughs> All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, yeah. my dear, Mike came here and said he wants to ask for a hand in marriage. But that you never give him the opportunity. Things don't work like that. Things don't work that way. It's marriage we are talking about. I mean, how can somebody just emerge from nowhere and start preaching love to me? I need to take my time. I need to take my time and know this man very well. So, will it take a whole century? If I will take, I will take. Take a whole century. You want to take your time. Listen, this time waits for no one. None the opportunity is there. Why not grab the opportunity and marry? Other young girls out there are waiting for this same opportunity. If you waste any time, they will grab the man from you. And then what happens to you? Huh? <clears throat> Papa, I've... fine, I've heard you. I will still think about it. Hey. Yes. What are you thinking about? Marriage. Why not just say, Yes, Mama. Papa, it's okay. And get this guy married. Papa, I cannot. I cannot. Ah, you want me to make mistake? Did you make mistake in your own time? You're talking as if I was never married. Oh. I was married. Oh. Huh? Did oh. Mama think about it? She was a nice, beautiful young girl. Mm -hmm. Yes, but she saw me and fell in love because I was rich. I was young. I was Papa, that was that century. It's not now and again. It's not now and again, Papa. This gender, they are very bad. This gender now, they are bad. Why not marry this guy and stop about this gender, 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 what I don't know? Marry this man now. That guy is rich, he's handsome, he looks good. Why not grab the opportunity while it lasts? What are you waiting for? Ozugo, Papa, I've heard you. I've heard you. Ozugo, Ozugo, but not the, not the, 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 the. Hey. I'm fine. How is your mother? She's fine at least. Okay. <laughs> what is it? Nothing, no. It's just that. Well, someone came to, to ask for my hand in marriage. And what did you tell him? Nothing. I wasn't part of their discussion, though, but it was just the young man and my father. <sighs> I'm so happy for you. You don't have to be. Yes. I don't even love him. And I am not even interested in whatever they are saying. Why? <laughs> they are more to marry than people think. I mean, I can't just internally dwell in it bosom of a man without knowing anything about him. I mean, there are some basic things couple need to know about each other before engaging themselves in that union called marriage. Yes, I'm not even ready for it. 
So when will you be ready? Anytime you're ready. <laughs> You know that's not possible. Don't say that. Don't. It's night again. And each time this moment comes, I get gripped by fear as it reminds me that my days are numbered. You know, sometimes things we are scared of always have their way into us because we've made up our minds so loose to accept them by fear. The worst that can happen is that, and that's all. Adaku, your presence always kills the fears around me. You're such a strong hearted person. Thank you for everything. Okay, it's, it's night already. I have to go. Okay, let me walk you down. That lifeless boy. What were you doing? That he stayed till late in the night. What were you doing with him in his place? A boy that will soon die any moment. Outside my pleading, outside my begging, outside my advice. You still did not listen. You want to bring shame upon me in this village? No, Papa, I don't want to bring any shame. Then what? It was that I went there for us to have a discussion. Oh my God. What kind of discussion would you be having? With that kind of good for nothing boy. We will have a lot of young, buoyant, rich, nice, educated young men in this community, in this village, even in this big compound. And you're talking with that good for nothing boy. You want to bring disgrace and shame upon me but in this community. Papa, I don't want to bring any disgrace. I want to where I will have peace. Oh God. Peace? In where you can die any moment? In peace in a place that have already passed death sentence. Peace in a family that is prone to death any minute. So you want to commit yourself and be part of that donation of death. Or you want me to be part of it? God forbid. Now listen. Your peace, joy, and happiness is a Mike. Mike is the only person that can give you that peace that you want. And I will never have anything to do with Mike. You will have to do with man. Are you looking at me? Is you are mad. Voice? You are mad. You want to die a little father. You are stupid. If you say you won't have anything to do with man, then you must have something to, to do with man. Are you stupid? What is going on? The rumor with you and Chike's affair is everywhere. Why do you want to bring doom upon yourself? Hmm. I am not bringing any doom upon myself, okay? Besides, me and Chike, we are not playing any hide and seek games. Adako, listen. I want you to pull yourself out of that. You're doing this out of pity because of what that boy is going through. You see, Amara, too many factors attract love when nurtured. But he conquers all that led to it in the first place. You see, when I got close to Chike, I realized that 
he has a lot to offer. Yes, his only limitation and weakness is that he's awaiting death and nothing more. Adako, and how do you intend to nurture and grow love that within a man that is certain to die? My darling, death has no limitation to love. Yeah, it can only separate us apart, but that will not stop the heart from loving and having his memory. Yeah, not until he's dead. He's still the man I will always hey. love. She's even calling him a man. <laughs> a dark wake up. Look, Hi. let me tell you something. If you lose Mike, you might lose everything. Everything, Adako. Open your eyes. Mike is the man for you. I want you to understand that. <laughs> I chose to lose the whole world and gain chicken. Yes. I want to make fire. I'm hungry. Let me do this then, okay? You know you've been helping me all the time. you are here alone, not of your friend. She left her and said she was coming to see you. Papa, I am no longer important in Adako's life. What do you mean? She has found a friend and a companion. And who is that? Papa, she's in late Ibekwe's house. She's there playing with Chike and helping them to do house chores. Papa, can you imagine? Chief Ibekwe's house? Playing with Chike? She's there playing with Chike. In Chike's house? Hugging, washing clothes, packing firewood, every, all sort of things, Papa. Hi! You need to see it with your hey. eyes. Hey! Adaku, come here! Come here, come right here! Adaku! Adaku! Oh God, I'm disappointed in you as a daughter. So, upon all my warnings and pleadings, Stand one is to you. You still have the gods to go to that god forsaken compound. That family playing with Chike, joking with Chike, romancing Chike. For what do they say? You want to kill me, your father, or what? What rubbish is that? Papa, Papa, Papa you, can't you can't you see? I love, I love Chike, and I see nothing. I see nobody stopping us. Will you shut up your mouth? I'm talking to you, you tell me you love me, you love what? Uh, God punish you. I'll deal with you as a father. Let me go to Lord Chicken's Let me go. Go on, sir. Wait, 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 wait. You're using to call my name. Adaku, are you stupid? So you, you, oh wait, you reported me to my father, so that my father will kill me. But Adaku is for your own good. Nabun! I'm a Nabun! Nabun! Nabun, stop this! Put that me to my father, so my father will kill me. I'm not telling you about it. Let me get to you here again. This is my daughter. 
is my daughter, you see. Where is that stupid boy? Where is that nonsense boy? TK! TK! Where is TK? TK, where are you? I can't enter this God-forsaken place. TK! Where is TK? Where is that idiot, that good for nothing boy? Where are you? Uh -huh. You see that I've come to see. I've come to beg you to leave my daughter alone. Please leave my daughter alone. Leave her alone. You don't belong to the same class. Why, what are you doing with my daughter? Eh? Look at you. You should be dead. Your mates are dead in the grave. And you're still alive. Why are you alive? Eh? You should be enjoying yourself in the land of the dead. And you're here. Leave my daughter alone. Listen, anytime I see or hear that you have anything to do with my daughter, she visited you or you came around, what I will do to you, oh my God, you will not like it. I say you will not like it. I will kill you before you die. Let me warn you. Leave my daughter alone. Hey. Oh, it's just that I cannot enter this God-forsaken compound. If not, I would have lived for something and break your head. Idiot. You're a fool. Leave my daughter alone. I don't want to die. I don't want my daughter to die. You can die and die again and die again. It's your business. You are your family. Clear your compound. I'm not interested. But I don't want to die. Leave my daughter alone. I beg you in the name of God. Next time, I'll break your head. Die before you die. Has he gone? Yes, mother. Chiki, why don't you leave this man's daughter alone? Why did you say that? You're asking me why I said that. Did you not hear all the threats? Odili is not an easygoing man. Mother, forget about that man. He came late. He came late? What do you mean he came late? I'm asking you, what do you mean he came late? If it means for us to, to, to just be friends, maybe for you to get to know me more, I am ready. Just name your conditions. I am ready to abide by it. Please. Real love is without no conditions. In your case, Mike, I'm, I am very sorry. I, I don't want to, to have anything to do with you. Yes, my, my heart belongs to someone else. And despite all the shortcomings from people, my heart is where it is. I, I love Chike and I want to be with, with him. Okay. Um, what of your father? Is he around? The father is here. I'm right here with you. You're welcome. She, she said her heart belonged to someone else. <laughs> her heart belongs to someone else. Yes. Well, she's still a young girl growing up. What does she know about love and marriage? Um, don't, just relax and take it easy with her. I'm just coming from that soon to die young man. And I gave him stand warning to stay clear and leave my daughter alone. Let her not near my daughter for any reason. Thank you. So you don't have any problem. You understand? Yes. All I will tell you is to be calm, relax yourself. Okay, sir. I will talk to her very soon. She'll be the one to start coming after you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. But I'm Thank you, a, sir. I'm not making a promise to you. You will marry her. She'll be your wife. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Just leave. All right. All right, sir. Uh -huh. Thank you, sir. Let's keep going. All right, sir. Okay. Hey, man, you're there, hunting. You know you're very stubborn and stupid. 
I have come to tell you that it's not working out between me and other Dako. In fact, she has gone for good. I know. Her heart is somewhere else. If I had known, I wouldn't have gone for her in the first place. Mike, there's this popular saying that goes this way. That if the desirable is not available, the available becomes desirable. Mike, Mike, I am available. Whatever Adako can do for you, I will also do it for you. Wait, you? Yes. Mike, I... I like you. I heard him telling Mike that he was here and he warned you seriously to stay away from me. Listen, he did what every other father would do to protect his own. He threatened to kill me and all that. But I'm not scared because I already have dead standing right in front of me. My only fear is you and what you'll be facing and hearing out there. Don't, don't worry about me. Those negative words strengthened me. Not even my father. Not even my... Not even... No one can stop me from loving you, Chiki. I love you. You've gotten so used to me that you can come here as many times as you want in a day. Yes. The burning desire of love in you is growing every day. How would you cope when my sojourn here on earth is over? How? Till then. I love you too, Adako. I love you. Egundibo 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 It's been long, I said you are not The time has come. Do this for me. Go to Late Mazi Bequay's compound. Visit his own chicken with everything bad so that my daughter will fall out of favor with you. This is my request. And I know you do it for me. I pray. I think in my own.
Eke Alpha Mbo Ode You try some Ode Isinani You see Bodo Ome Isinani See Mmm Oswe No more on this one No more I'm a Zaku Isiga Mama, I can't see anything. What do you mean? I can't see anything, Where is this blindness coming from? We know we're going to die already. But if we must die, let's die honorably with all our body parts intact. Mother, I am not dead yet and you're crying. What will then happen when I die? We have been through a lot. Don't blame me for crying. My soul cannot lose his sight and you expect me not to cry. Just get ready, I will take you to the hospital tomorrow so we know the cause of this. I am not going to any hospital. He who is scheduled for death shouldn't fear blindness. No, my son, do not see that. It is just part of the process. No, we must die with our body packed intact, my son, no. Mother, stop crying. Stop crying. You cannot go blind now, you cannot go blind. You cannot go blind. My son cannot go blind, no. Oh, God. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Oh, God, look at you. Oh, God. She's the one coming back. It was from your voice that I noticed that you're the one. Okay, I bought something for you and mom. What is it? See it now. Adaku, I can't see anything. I mean, this is what I woke up to this morning. GK, are you playing with me? Is this some kind of joke? You can't see me. You can't... Are you not seeing what I'm doing? No. Darkness covers everywhere. Sila. <laughs> okay, 
TK, if you are playing, just stop it. I know, I know you don't play, but if you are playing, stop it. I am not. Adako, not being able to see your beautiful face is the worst thing that is happening to me right now. I mess chicken like this, blind, mama, how, how, mama chicken doesn't deserve all this thing that is happening to him, it's Chihuahua. so unfair, look at chicken, mama, Adaku, do you want me to start crying, what did the man of God say, mother, he prayed for us, and told me that God is aware of all that we are going through, God is aware of this blindness and he permits it. God! Haven't I suffered enough? Haven't I? Anything that will make us stay apart. Omar, the worst thing you did to me was ever bringing that guy to my house. Adako, I'm sorry. Look, I've already told Mike that your heart is elsewhere, that he should leave you to go to where your heart belongs. You did? Yes. Funny enough, I, my only happiness is no more. Chike is blind. Chike is blind? Yes. <laughs> oh, ride on with your happiness. He's blind. Blindness has nothing to compare to the death that awaits him. <laughs> oh, your heart desire. Um, Adako, let me now shock you. Mike has proposed to me. He has proposed to marry me. And the both of us, we are into big things together. I wish you good luck. Thank you. to see him now. Hmm? Stay here, don't go anywhere. Hmm? 
if you want to lie down, you can manage and lie on the bench. No? Okay, I'm coming, eh? Come in, eh? I know you'll be surprised, but I'm laughing when you have problems piled up around you. Anyways, nothing is new in the eyes of the spirit. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Oria Afo Nampo Woman, what you see as a problem is nothing in the land of the spirit. I am the little boy that calls upon the spirits and they answer me. This is a gift from my ancestors. Woman, the time is close. I can see a tree standing firm and healthy like a tree planted by the riverside. Woman, the gods are aware of this, and darkness shall leave the face of your son. The day he shall hear our good news, which is your greatest desire. <laughs> is there anything that can be done for my son to at least regain his sight before his death is there anything that can be done before her son mm. so the son can regain her sight before his death mm. Mm, mm. Woman, you do not know more than God in heaven. For he is aware. And you cannot fight what has existed before you. Go. Go. Mm. They are all saying the same thing. The man of God told me exactly what Anya said. 
They said God is aware of whatever we are going through. But Anya keeps seeing a tree standing. And he also said that whatever that is wrong with you will leave you when you get a good news. Which good news is he talking about? I don't know. Mother, don't stress yourself about this very issue again. As for my eyes, I'm used to it already. Oh my son. If it doesn't get better, then I am ready to face death. It's okay. Hey, mother. house to go and visit that will soon die boy eh? after all my pleadings after talking to you you don't have brain you don't listen to your father is that Papa, please Papa, please Papa, there's no how I'm going to have a complete and a successful day without seeing his face I don't care if you have a complete or successful day. All I care is for you to stop seeing that boy. For God's sake, what are you doing with a blind boy? What? He's talking about a successful day. What kind of success are you talking about? Papa, see reasons with me. We are talking about happiness here. My own happiness. Really? Your only child's happiness. Yes. Your happiness. Yes, Papa. And you think as a father I'm not interested in your happiness? It is you that is more interested in your happiness than me, your father. Listen, your happiness lies in Mike. If you don't know, I'm your father. I come to save you. Listen, Mike is rich. Mike is young. Mike is handsome. Mike is caring. And Mike looks like a man, strong man, to take care of you, make you feel like a woman. What other quality do you want in a man? Is it not a man that will satisfy you? And you're there talking about a dead imbecile of a man, a blind. You're, what other thing do you want in a man? This is the first time I'm seeing somebody being put sugar into his mouth or her mouth, and she's rejecting sugar. Sugar. See, Mike is sugar, sweet sugar, into your mouth, and you are rejecting Mike for a blind Olubu. Papa, at times sugar is not good in the health. Sugar drama. Yes, and you know. Fine, Mike, Mike is handsome and rich. But you're not even sure about your daughter's happiness and well-being if he's granted there. Granted there. So I don't know it. When a daughter's happiness is granted. So Mike that is handsome, Mike that is rich, that is a man that will give you what you want and get you fulfilled and satisfied. Your happiness is not granted. So who will grant your happiness? A blind man, a blind boy, chicken, weak, that doesn't know where to put it, Papa. how to strike it. Papa, stop. Chike, is, Chike might be blind, but she's not, she's not dead. I'm talking to you, you're talking back to me. Papa, What's your problem? Please. Eh? What's your problem? Please, do Papa. Hey, Papa. <laughs> My daughter has gone mad again. He goes, the boy that gladdens my heart. That voice needs no introduction. Adaku Odile. The only girl that sees potential in me, even when there is no possible assurance to my life tomorrow. And it seems 
I'm the only one not seeing clearly in this village. I love you, Chike. Not minding if death comes or not. What have I done to deserve this good treatment from you? That I can't say. But all I want is for you to be happy and nothing more. Okay? <laughs> all right, I got food for you. Oh, food? Yes. She got food for me. So let me quickly go get sit so we can sit. Okay, okay. I love you, Chike. I love you too. No, no. <laughs> you brought food for me. Yeah! She brought food for us. Your first so it will soon mm. finish. Yeah, man. I really need your help. What is it? Something has been bothering me of lately. What could that be? 
I've been throwing up. Yes. You've been throwing up? Yes. As in, that means we are passing through the same thing. Hmm? Amara. You've been throwing up too? Yes. But Mike suggested that I should go for test. So when I went, they confirmed I am pregnant. You are pregnant? Yes. Yeah. Could it be uh, me throwing up could be the result of um, that I am pregnant? I think it would be better you go for test. Okay. Yes. Don't worry. I'll take you to the hospital where I went to. Uh -huh. In that case, I will I'll go first. I think it would be better. Let's go now. Where? Get that. Where? I will, I will come back. I will stop. Me. Me. Maximum time it takes someone to die here. But we're still alive. The day is still young, mother. Let's wait to the end of today before you start saying that. You're right. Let's wait till the end of today. As for me, my mind is made up. I am ready to face death. And this cloth that I'm wearing might be what I will wear and join to the land of the spirits with. Same here. This might be my last job. Don't tell me you're crying, mother. Uh -huh. I remember you said I have to die honorably. Yes. But to die honorably, you don't have to cry. <sighs> we did. We waited. We waited the end of today. Mother, stop I'm crying. Ready. Stop crying, mother. We've already accepted this. Yes. Stop crying, mother. <laughs> Stop crying. Stop crying, okay? Stop crying. Adako, mm -hmm. I've been thinking. What's um, that? I think you made a very big mistake. How? You shouldn't have laid with that boy. Hmm. No one is your business, so. Me, I'm not regretting anything. Yes. I laid with my man same way you slept with your man, Mike. So both of us are carrying unwanted pregnancy. That's true. Mm -hmm. But mine is different. It's different from yours. Mm. See, let me tell you, when people will come to know about mine, they will even applaud me. Applaud her. See, we're in this together. Yes. As, I don't even care. As, so long as I satisfy my heart desire. That's all. Adako, we all know that that boy will die soon. So your heart desire is carrying a dead man's child in your womb. See, be careful. If my father comes out and hears this, I will slap you. Growing a dead man's child in your womb is your heart desire, right? <laughs> Growing a child that will come out alive, my darling. See, I don't care what people are going to say. All I'm, I am carrying Chikil's child. Yes, I'm not a dead man's child. No matter what I tell you, I know you will not change. You know, 
See, we're in this together. We are carrying unwanted pregnancy. Mm. Shh. Where will I change? Shh. Adaku, you're here? Yes. Have you come to check if I'm still alive or gone? Chiki, please don't talk like that. That's not where I'm here. Well, I am here to tell you something. What is it? Um, I don't know how you, you feel, but I don't want you to feel hot. Yes, because I, I don't want your family lineage to end just like that. Tell me what is it? Your, your seed is growing inside of me. Seed? Yes. Okay. I'm carrying your child. Pregnant? You're pregnant. Yes. Chike, what did I hear? Who is pregnant? I'm carrying your grandchild, Mama. Hey! Hey! You're carrying my son's child in your womb. Yes, Hey! Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey! Oh, but all look the Oh, look at the. But my child, yes, how are we going to handle this? There's no problem, Mama. I know uh, my father is the problem I have, but when the time comes, I will know how to handle it. Hey! Yes, hey! Yes. I am going to become a grandmother. Hey? This is good news. This is the first time I am smiling in a while. Smile, my son! Smile! Oh my God. I wish I can see. So I will see how beautiful you look with my seed growing in you. She's beautiful. <laughs> She's beautiful. Thank you, Adako. I love you, Chiki. Thank you. This is just the best news for me to end my sojourn here on Earth. <laughs> Let's, not that. On Earth. Let's not talk about that. Mm. Let's just be happy, okay. for this is good news. Yes, <laughs> but, my son, you cannot see. How were you able to? <laughs> you won't understand, mother. <laughs> Excite me! Adaku, Adaku. Ah, don't give my soul for me, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, she is? Yes. I know she will. That has been her wish for me. I am the happiest person here. I mean, I am happy because I've been able to, to put smile on you people's faces. No, I am the happiest person in the world. I am happy because you accepted me even in my naughtiness. Thank you, Adaku. You're welcome. Um, should in case I don't make it seeing our child, Please, tell him that I love him so much. Uh, well, it's okay, but don't talk like that, please. And please name him Chike Ibekwe Jr. What if he's a girl? Something in me tells me that he is a boy. Okay, I will. Your wish is my command. <laughs> Mm. 
Thank you for planting your seed inside me, Chike. Hey, I should be the one thanking you for having my seed right inside of you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Adako. You're welcome. <laughs> I was coming to knock on your door. Are you okay? I'm fine, mother. Are you okay? Why has death refused to come as we expected? Is death scared of taking away a blind person? Today makes it the 61st day since we buried my younger brother, Chukudi. What is death waiting for to take me away? I have a feeling our problems and fears are over. No. These problems are not over yet. Apart from my father, death took away six of my brothers. Not having a brother alone is a problem. Enough, Chike. We should thank God we made it to a new day. Don't say that yet. Until the day is over and we see many more days ahead. We will see many more days. Guys, over heating. Just come and draw this uh, bonnet for me. Please. How many? Just drink water. Okay, okay. Be fast. Please get water. Water. Yes, water. Mike. For the Council of Elders meeting, while we were deliberating, some people rushed into the palace yeah. to inform Diego that Odenibo's daughter fainted at the junction. Yeah, Amara. Amara, now you know that your friend fainted at the junction that she was pregnant for Mike. Someone who knows Mike saw him and called his name. Mike disappeared. Mike disappeared. That he died two months ago. His corpse, as I'm speaking, is still in the mortuary. Papa, cousin. Mike now. is a ghost to Mike. Ah! Hey! <laughs> no wonder. Hmm. No wonder my instinct was so strong. See, Papa, I would have married a ghost just like that. Papa. Thank you for resisting me. Thank you for resisting the push. Thank you for resisting the harassment not to marry Mike. Papa, 
Come on, I'm not going to get out of the My daughter, what is it? Somebody, somebody, someone else. Chiki. Please. Eh? Chiki. this happen to you. Someone to throw your blood. Look at me. They throw your blood. Now I'm still living in shame. How could you? Do you know the blood that is mixed in your blood? Your blood is now contaminated. There's someone who will soon die. I can't bear it. I can't bear it. You have to bear it all alone. I can't. Papa, oh. Papa, please. I've tried to stop him, but I can't. My heart keeps yearning for him. Your heart keeps yearning for him. This heart has yearned you to disgrace and shame. Shame brought this honor to you, not just you, but to me, a man of royal blood, to our family, to our clan, to our village, to our kingdom, just because your heart let you. Oh God. You know what? You get rid of that nonsense. Get rid of that nonsense. Uh, I can't. I'm not taking a cat. I'll keep the baby, Papa, please. Keep the baby. Keep a bastard under my roof. A bastard in my own house. A baby of contaminated blood in my family? No. No. I have to pack with this and leave the house. I can afford to live and die alone. I've lost you as a daughter. I'll live and die alone. Let it be. Let me live and die. Disappointed me. Okay, it's so. You disgraced me, me. Oh God. Okay, it's so. Your only child is asking you for one thing. So what can you so? Okay, it's so. Please no. You disappointed me. Please, what can you so? You disgraced me. Oh God. Come on, please, can you stop? 
I gave you love, I showed you love, I gave you all. You failed me. Oh, God. Mama, Mama, please no. Mama, do it for me, please. I'm a child. I'm only done of your sins. Father. Huh? He's a boy. A boy. <laughs> yes, my son. Oh my God. You're now a father. A father. Yes. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Chicky. Huh? Easy now. I, 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 I can't wait to just see. Touch and feel. You feel will. Their presence. You will, my son. Oh, hold it. Father, I can't just wait to touch and feel their presence. I know. They are very okay. okay. The doctor and nurses are attending to them. Oh. I just came to pick a few things, eh? Okay. Um, Father, I'm a father. Oh my God. Me. I need palm wine. Ah. It's not a problem. I'll send somebody to get it. Okay. Eh? Enough of it. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. oh. What would I be without you, Adako? Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you for sacrificing everything you have just to see me smile and happy. Above all, you blessed me. I mean, you blessed us yes. with a bouncing baby boy. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Now I believe all you've been telling me. Mm. The, the news of your safe delivery is the greatest news I have ever had. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. It's okay. Thank yeah. you, my child. Oh, Mama, can you people stop thanking thank thank you. me? Thank you for making me a grandmother. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mama, it's okay. What is that? Did something enter your eyes? Let me see. No. Mother. I can see. What, what, what are you saying? Adako, I can see you. What does it mean of that? I can are see, you, Mother. Are you joking? No, I'm serious. I can see you. What, are, what am I holding? A popo. Because we told you, I, 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 she told you I brought popo. No, I, I, I can see you. 
I'm <laughs> serious, mother. Okay. What's the color of her dress? Wine red. Uh, the bath? A blue bath. Mother, I can see you. I can see. Mother, I can see. <gasps> hey! Look at how beautiful you're looking. Oh my God. Hey! My mom. My mom. I can't wait to see my baby. Where is him? Chike. Sleeping, man. Chike. Yes, mother. Chicken came. I can see. You can see. Yes. You can see your mother. I'm seeing you, mother. White. I don't know. <laughs> I can see. I can my see. son can see. Yes. My son. Let's go in so I can see my baby. God. Oh, what more can I ask for God? Oh. Hey. Hey. Adako, 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 this is not time for this. Adako, this is not time for this. I can see you. Hey! I love you. Hey! Hey! Let's go and see my baby, please. Please, please. Go inside and see. Go, 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 go. Adako, take him inside. Take him inside. I love you too. Hey! Hey! Go, 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 go. Go. Hey, hey, hey. told your mother she cannot fight what existed before her. What has been ravaging your family is ancestral. It is from your forefathers something they did in the past has come haunting your family. If you don't pay attention to it what happened to your father but what happened to your father will happen to you. I'm 